Oof. Howdy folks, welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. We got a fun one tonight, an epic action film, 300, from director Zack Snyder, one of your favorites. Sure, uh, yeah. We've watched a lot of Zack Snyder on here. It feels like we've watched a bunch of Zack Snyder, and every time I get some snarky comments from Zack Snyder fans. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is one of his best films ever made. Okay. It's a great action films based on a comic book. Let me guess, lots of slow motion. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. this film... Yeah. It's happening. The slow motion is like... I feel like it's... Like slow motion with swords. It works in this one because it was before he overused it. Oh, okay. Right? This was like his first... This was his first movie overusing it, so it, yeah. nobody was annoyed and by I it. And I felt like he used it right in the overuse, mm -hmm. and then he just fell in love with it after this, right? Yeah. It's based on a comic book, but it's also based on historic the historic battle of the 300 Spartans that defended themselves against thousands of enemy troops. Oh. So, it's a great... Is it Roman? Uh, Roman Spartans Roman? Um, Spartans. Oh, Sparta. Are Sparta. Duh. Yeah. The doy. Which would actually, I think, be ancient Greece area. Yeah, I don't know that that far back in history very well. Geography majors, tell us where Sparta was. Right? Is this like Iliad Roman. and Odyssey sort of situation? No, it it really happened. Okay. Right. It's one of the most epic historical battles. Like people study it in history still to this day to wonder. How this worked. How it happened. Yeah. Okay. Right. How they managed. All right. Yeah. I'm excited, so some, I guess. And you'll see some a lot of familiar faces among the Spartans, as well as the Queen of Sparta. You should recognize her as well. Get ready for some fun action. Lots of blood. Some great fight scenes. Super. You ready? Should we jump right in? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. First, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out. This is going to be a good one from yep. Zack Snyder. If you want early access to our videos and full length commentaries, check out our Patreon link down below. Get access to all of it. Right? Link's down below. Let's watch 300. I get this one and, um, what's the other one? Confused. Gladiator. Gladiator, yeah. When the boy was born, like old Spartans, he was inspected. Ooh. Had to breed them tough back then. Society <laughs> to create the finest soldiers the world has ever known. Was this done for 3D? No, it's like comic book brought to life. Oh. By rod and lash, the boy was punished. Taught to show no pain, no mercy, left to pit his wits and will against nature's fury. I couldn't give him some some shoes. That. The wolf begins to circle the boy. It's a funky looking wolf. Oh, oh is he a werewolf? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, he fashioned himself some clothes. Mm -hmm. Wolf clothes. Given up for dead, returns to his people, to secret Sparta. A king! Our king! Leonidas! Ho, ho, ho! They made him king? That was the king's story. Oh. This beast is made of men and horses, swords and spears. Is the video supposed to be that quality? Yes. Okay. Is it? That's part High of contrast the, the comic art, book yeah, style? Yeah, style, yeah. Okay. Is it a gift or like a trophy? What is it? A Persian messenger awaits you. Oh, Cer Cersei. Mm hmm. Persian. Know that in Sparta, everyone, even a king's messenger, is held accountable for the words of his voice. Gerard Butler, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. What makes this woman think she can speak among men? Because only Spartan women give birth to real men. Ooh. Oh, I 
have chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. He's just gonna push him. This is Sparta! So, how will they get the message now? And did they did they just contaminate their drinking water? No, that wasn't a well for drinking. Oh, okay. that was a well for doing just that. Oh, didn't know they made such a well just to push people in. Are you gonna use your words carefully around the Spartans? Mm -hmm. Submission's not a great word. Welcome, Leonidas. We have been expecting you. Oh, he is rough. What's he got? Leprosy? Maybe. It had to have been filmed in water, right? Very cool. Very interesting imagery, right? Wow, yeah. that's super cool. But the old wretches have the needs of men. No, oh, oh, oh. as black oh. as hell. <laughs> Why? Sparta will fall. Oh, he's so gross looking. Honor the Carnia. The king's climb down is harder. What did that mean? They won't support the war. Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> Instead, ask yourself, what should a free man do? What should a free man do? Well, we know what he's gonna do. Good for him. I'm gonna take his wife. <laughs> well, I can see why this movie's so popular. Got lots of boobies. There's lots of shirtless men, too. <laughs> Touché. Is this all of them? As you ordered. 300. All with born sons to carry on their name. Uh, Faramir? Mm -hmm. Wow, you remembered somebody's name. I know, even uh, Lord of the Rings' name, which is yeah. shocking, right? Who's that? Um, Alien. It's David. Uh, David, yeah, thank you, <laughs> David. He is too young to have felt a woman's warmth. I have others to replace him. Astinos is as brave and ready as any. I have others to replace him? That's brutal. My good king, the oracle has spoken. The ephos have spoken. It is the law, my lord. This guy's working both sides of the fence here? Mm -hmm. Rude. These, uh, 300 men are my personal bodyguard. <laughs> what can we do? Sparta will need sons. What can you do? I mean, have sex? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, yeah. Procreate. Yeah. Get busy. <laughs> we need more men. Get busy. Spartan! Yes, my lady. One more free show, but oh no. <laughs> Remember <laughs> these. A necklace. I thought she was going to do. I thought she was going to drop her shirt. He doesn't say it. There's no room for softness. Not in Sparta. No place for weakness. Yeah, it's kind of like this house. No place for weakness. You're a Spartan woman. <laughs> Hard and strong. Very hard. <laughs> Very strong. That thing had a Spartan shield. Was it a former Spartan or just like a somebody took a Spartan shield? Maybe you'll find out. Also, is that like a double recorder that that guy was blown on? A double recorder. Yeah. It's pretty cool. What is your profession? I'm a potter. What is your profession? Sculptor, sir. And you? Blacksmith. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> Warriors. See, old friend. I brought more soldiers than you did. <laughs> Is he like the golem of this movie? Mm. 
Bummer. With these footprints. Scared me. Things from the blackness of claws and fangs? Not these immortals. Immortals. We'll put their name to the test. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Into the hot gates we march. Into the it's a Quasimodo. Oh. They're like feeling good about that situation. Storming. Only one among us keeps his Spartan reserve. See, I just have a Spartan reserve. That's why I don't react so aggressively towards these things, right? <laughs> it's my Spartan reserve. You hold back your emotions. That's right. Start using that. People give me crap in the comments about my... Your stoicism? Yeah, my lack of... Tell them it's just my Spartan reserve. Relax. My caramba. How do you see that as 300 people and decide, yeah, we can still do this, right? Why do you smile? Never met an adversary who could offer me what we Spartans call a beautiful death. With all the world's warriors gathered against us, there might be one down there. I love Michael Fassbender. They're like, just, he's just like ready to die. He's like, it'll be fine. Somebody will kill me, it'll be great. To Spartans, a death in battle is the most honorable death. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. Ooh. I demand that someone show me your commander. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. By noon this day, you will be dead men. By noon this day, like today. Our arrows will blot out the sun. Then we will fight in the shade. <laughs> I humbly request an audience. I'll skew you where you stand. I gave no such order. He just wants to be part of the team. Sword. As much a part of me as my own beating heart. I will earn my father's armor, noble king. A single weak spot, and the phalanx shatters. Thigh to neck, Ephialtes. I am sorry, my friend. Put him on the end cap, right? <laughs> Doesn't have to protect him in any man. Earthquake. No, Captain. Battle formations. Holy sh! Where we fight, this is where they die, and the shield boys. Remember this day, man. Spartans, lay down your weapons. Got him. Hold. Give them nothing, but take from them everything. Not gonna get back in formation. Whoa, his whole leg. 
Leonidas doesn't need a battle formation. I guess not. Hell of a good start. <sighs> Only 800,000 more to go, really. <laughs> oh, they've got bow and arrows. Time to fight in the shade. Very cool. We had to save. What? Fight in the shade. New formation. A flying V. <laughs> Ducks fly together. I don't like this. I don't like the calm before this storm. The unfortunate if anything were to happen to him. Or to his beautiful mother. Okay, slimy. <laughs> Snack time. Charge. Sing my eyes. Scratch your Scratch your breath, boy. Yes, my lord. The Persians approaching. At least Damn bodies are hard to get over. Besides, there's no reason we can't be civil. <laughs> I mean, a bit much. Let me guess. You must be Xerxes. Come, Leonidas. Let us reason together. Oh, he's a big fella. Perish. All because of a simple misunderstanding. Look at that manicure. Well, haven't you noticed? We've been sharing our culture with you all morning. <laughs> Consider the fate of your women. Clearly, you don't know our women. I might as well have marched them up here, judging by what I've seen. <laughs> it's not the lash they fear. It is my divine power. But I'm a generous Oh, I thought he was going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> Slaughtering all those men of yours has uh, left a nasty crap in my leg, so kneeling will be hard for me. There will be no glory. Why, honoring the very name of Sparta or Leonidas will be punishable by death. The world will never know you existed at all. Oh, how he was wrong. They have served the dark will of Persian kings for 500 years. Oh no. Xerxes has taken the bait. Spartans! Push! Jesus, this guy is huge. Ooh. Eee. There we go. Phew. Brave amateurs. They do their part. Just giving the Spartans a little breather, right? Give us a break for a second. <laughs> well, Leonidas get his helmet back on, at least. And a man who fancies himself a god feels a very human chill crawl up his spine. I don't like him. <laughs> well, he's the bad guy, so... Back at it. Bear with me. 
witness to the grotesque spectacle coughed forth from the darkest corner. <laughs> Taking out its own people. <laughs> Nice. Nailed it. One hundred nations descend upon us. The armies of all Asia funneled into this narrow corridor. A crab man? They're clumsy beasts. The piled Persian dead is slippery. Oh. You still here? Somebody's gotta watch your back. No, now I'm a little busy. They're like Gimli and Legolas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna win this battle? <laughs> Astanos! My son! Watch your back. Watch your back! Astanos! Oh, man. I really liked him. Finally got daddy's like, way to go, kid. <laughs> then he just... Bummer. Luckily he has lots to replace him, I guess, right? Oh no. Isn't he the Spartan? He's gonna tell him about the goat trail. Well, don't do that. Don't betray your people. Embrace me as her king and as her god. Yes! Super. Yes! I want it all! He will dispose of you as soon as you help him. What do you have to offer? In return for my word that I'll help you send our army north. Is he asking for a blowy? <laughs> oh gosh. This will not be over quickly. You will not enjoy this. Wow. What a superhuman being. Mm -hmm. My heart is broken for your loss. Heart. I have filled my heart with hate. Yeah, you're not going to want a heart going into this battle, right? <laughs> you will deliver my final orders to the council with force and power. He's the narrator. You didn't know this already? Oh, he's, he's the one that is. Yeah. He's the storyteller. Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! <laughs> Moving, eloquent, passionate. I hate it him. doesn't change the fact that your husband has brought war upon us. You are wrong. Persian that panty sniffer. Right? Gross. Chamber, my queen. Just hours ago, you offered yourself to me. Were I a weaker man, I would have her scent on me still. This is Kill this. Remove her from this chamber before she infects us further with her inglorious and shabby self. Yes. F yeah. This will not be over quickly. <laughs> you will not enjoy this. I am not your queen. Oh yeah, the Persian coins that this f***er took, huh? Yeah. Pretty cool uniform. The hat. <laughs> Thank you. Listen to your fellow Greek. He can attest to the Divine One's generosity. Despite your The hat is not generous. <laughs> it will be complete if you but lay down your arms and kneel to Holy Xerxes. He already told you he's got a bad leg. <laughs> It's not going to happen.
Nah, I'm good. The steady breathing. The 300 at his back. There's 300 men in that dome. <laughs> Thing that didn't land on his toe that would have hurt really bad. I hope he launches it launches it at that king thing. Well, that doesn't seem right. So I'm gonna grab a spear and like sidearm him. But then. <laughs> A lot of them! His helmet was stifling. It narrowed his vision. But he must see far. And his target is far away. Get him. Oh, sh He's gonna be pissed though, his pretty face. Old Leonidas gives testament to our bloodline. His roar is long and loud. They didn't kill the, the Persian king. Man. It's an honor to die at your side. It's an honor to have lived at yours. My queen! Spartan resolve. Even Spartan women don't cry. Yep. Thanks, his hearts. Face obliteration. <gasps> Yet they stare now across the plain at ten thousand Spartans commanding thirty thousand free Greeks. Oh! <laughs> the enemy outnumbers a poultry three to one. Good odds for any Greek. We rescue a world from mysticism and tyranny. And Leonidas and the brave 300. The victory! That f dialogue. Oh mm. my gosh. So, that speech at the end? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. That was awesome. Yeah. Did you like movie. it? Yeah. I, it took me a while to get used to the... The contrast and the, yes. the, the yep. coloring. Yep, the coloring yep. style. Um, that was weird, but very cool. Mm. Yeah, if you were to look at the comic book pages, yeah. this was basically the comic book pages brought to life with the colors and stuff like that. Yeah. He, Zack Snyder wanted to match the the high contrast and the, the dark grit and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was very, yeah. very interesting. Definitely mm. the first time I've ever seen something quite like that. Mm -hmm. And that's I think this is... Probably Zack Snyder's best film is because, based off a great comic book, off a great legendary story of the 300 Spartans, right? right. And he brings the comic book to life. Mm -hmm. Literally. It really, yeah. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. So, do you think the Spartans won there at the end? At the end, yes. I thought the 300 were going to do a little bit better, to be honest. <laughs> That's yeah. all right. So, Leonidas wasn't trying to hit him. He wasn't trying to kill Xerxes. He was trying to just make him bleed. Just send a message. Yeah, that was his promise that he was going to make a god king bleed. I have a feeling if Leonidas wanted to kill him, he would have killed I him. I feel like it would have been more effective if he had just killed him. <laughs> but Because yeah. when your slaves see a god king die, mm. I feel like that's 
maybe even better than seeing him bleed. I think that would have, I, I don't know. That's probably a good debate. If Xerxes would have died in mm-hmm. the comments, would that have been better? Or shattering the mysticism of this god king and making him bleed? Because I felt like Does they could have said death not shatter the Xerxes mysticism? heir. Le- they could have propped up Leonidas for killing Xerxes and saying that he was a god as well. And that's why. Oh, sure, I guess. And then the next guy just steps up and he's the next guy, right? Yeah. But with the fact that he just made him, made him bleed, it kind of... Let us know in the comments what you think. Would have been better for Leonidas to kill Xerxes if he was actually trying to or not trying to? Or what do you guys think? Was he trying to hit him or just wound him? I feel like death shatters the mysticism of a god king, so it would have been just as effective in my mind, but whatever. Who was your favorite Spartan other than Leonidas? Of course, other than Leonidas. You can't can't pick the king. You gotta pick one of the 300. He'd be everybody's favorite. (laughs) The Gimli of the group? The yeah. one with, that got his head chopped off? Oh, the, the captain's son? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I liked him. He had that nice witty repertoire with mm-hmm. the David... What is his name? Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I don't remember their Spartan name. Yeah. yeah. That's Fass, Fassbender. Yeah. I, I think this was one of his first... Like, Fassbender was pretty roles. awesome, though, too. Yeah. I mean, he had some pretty mm-hmm. crucial kills. He was and, like the Lego loss to his Gimli, right? Yeah, that's kind of how it felt like... Mm-hmm. Since we just recently watched. Actually, my favorite favorite Spartan would have to be the Queen. The Queen? Yeah. yeah. For mm-hmm. taking out the mm-hmm. douchebag. You were happy with that. Yeah. So, Good on yeah. her. Mm-hmm. There's actually a sequel to this movie. I Okay, I think I've heard that. So there's 300 Rise of an Empire. It's about another general of the Spartan army well, against Xerxes' forces. Not, I don't think he has 300. I think he has more, but it's... Yeah. yeah, in the same mythology kind of thing. It's not directed by Zack Snyder. He might have produced it though, and it's not as good, obviously, but it's still pretty cool. So if you ever want, if you're interested in seeing, if you like this one, it's I think it's not as good, but it's like a, a worthy successor in my opinion. Oh, okay. I, I went to it in theaters and I thought it was pretty good. A bookend mm-hmm. you know, to know what ha- what what happens to Xerxes, if, Xerxes, and the the battles and stuff. If you're interested, so that's a possibility. Though. Watch I... in the future. I do think the slow motion of this was perfectly fitting. Yeah. I Especially agree. given the comic book stylings. Mm-hmm. It almost makes sense to do some mm-hmm. things in slow motion because the comic book naturally moves a little slower than... And, and the speed changes in this, it wasn't all just slow motion. It was like slow down and then speed back up, slow down, speed back up. It was like turning the page of a comic book and yeah. watching it like move for a second kind of thing. Kind of like, remember those flip books kind yeah. of you could make? It was kind of like bringing that to life. That's why exactly, I, I felt yeah. like the, the slow motion in this wasn't over overdone. No, it, I think it, it, it fit, fit perfect. Style very yeah, well, fit perfect. Right? Any other comments? Should we ask them if they want you to watch Rise of the Empire? Well, we can put it up on the poll, and if you really want us to watch it, we can just vote for it. Yeah. See if it's, it comes up. Yeah, comment if you think we should watch it, or check out our Patreon polls if you want to see it on the list. Um, anything else? Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out. Yeah, it was Lots good. of movies and TV to watch. So check out our Patreon link down below if you want access to our polls, early access to all of our videos before they hit YouTube, as well as full length commentaries and more. Check it out, it's down below. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.